Hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm sorry I haven't had as many videos lately. As you know, it's been a really crazy time family-wise for us around here. So I'm back today and I thought I would share a few tips with you. So I have got some mini journals, some mini books to share with you today. And I just wanted to chat about, you know, the times when you maybe want to do something a little bit different you don't fancy your usual journal and these are like mini mini journals and they're also really good as gifts and there's also some good ideas of topics to cover as well in your journal so I really hope you enjoy this I've got six mini journals to share with you today let's start off with my favorite I think I love this one this one here is a travel journal and it's our road trip from 2016. It started life as an acetate 12 by 12 piece and it had all of these little squares on. So I cut two down for each piece, attaching scrapbooking paper in between each one and then using the squares there for journaling and I've popped some square photos in as well. It was such a quick way to make a travel journal. I didn't need loads of journaling, just a few photos. I've used a pen there to actually journal onto the acetate. Obviously you could use paper, you wouldn't have to use the acetate, but it was just such a quick way and it literally took me a couple of hours to make a whole travel journal. I was so pleased with how this came out really quick and easy I've added tabs and things on the top and it's just such a fun way to look back on your travels without it taking days and days to make sometimes you just want a quick project and this was definitely one of those so that's project number one a very quick travel journal mostly using scrapbooking paper the next one, let's go to this one. This one was a project that I wanted to make. I'm really pleased that I did it. It's a snapshot of my week and this was 2013. And I've mostly used, to make this, um, card blanks. Card blanks stuck together. Um, so they are one, this is one card blank here with the next one layered over the top and they're just each layered over to make this really, really fun mini journal. And I've used, these are from, I think, Ellie Studio from a long, long time ago, obviously to 2013. And I've just documented day by day, just our routine, which it says there. Sundays, we've got like football practice, We've got after school, all the bags. We've got, we had a visit from a friend. Um, just everyday stuff. I started work at 5.30 that day. We walked to school. I've discussed our favorite TV show, family TV show, which was um, Modern Family. We used to have a comedy Friday every Friday evening when the kids were younger. Saturday morning football. So, oh, Holly's baking there. So it's just a really, really nice thing to look back on there. We've got a friend that must have come over for tea and we've got family PJ time watching Grimm. It was such an easy project, really quick to make. And looking back on your whole week is a really fun thing to do. So maybe you need to give that a go. The next one I am going to do, let's do this one. This one is documenting our youngest 13th, birth, 13th birthday, 2015. This was also one of those very quick projects. I've used a paper bag as my cover, which I have cut along the side there so it opens up. But to reinforce it, make it a bit stronger, I've stuck tags and journal bits and pieces on journal cards as you can see and the insides is just folded paper that's all it is or cardstock I should say I've painted it I've added bits and pieces we've got a glassine bag there for train tickets it is a very very quick mini book I've just noticed actually on each piece is some painted watercolor paper a little bit of journaling we've got football tickets there so there's not masses there tube map I love collecting bits and pieces on our travels. 
and as you can see there's not huge amounts of journaling but that's it and that's captured Louis's 13th birthday really quick and easy and it's a really nice keepsake something like that would also make a very nice birthday gift for somebody if you've been to somebody's birthday to celebrate with them that would be really cool this well, let's go to this one here this one is a dinky one again it's just scrapbooking paper that's been folded two holes in the middle and tied with some twine and then this is actually from my own company lollipop box club I've just used papers cut things up and what have I done here oh this is all about spraying I think I made this last year just things that make me happy um, neighbors lovely flowers that when we were walking the dog and I've just documented bits and pieces that make me happy in spring again it's just something really quick if you want a quick project I think I made this in about an hour really quick and easy and really nice to look back on also sometimes if you're feeling a bit low to make something and just really focus on things that make you happy can be a really good thing to do as well it's really good and uplifting keeps your mind distracted for a while and really makes you kind of focus on the things that you're grateful for right now next one is a, another travel journal this one was also a gift I made this also for friends I duplicated it um, back in I think that was 2013 as well actually I took a trip to Boston with two girlfriends to meet another one of our girlfriends this one was another one of those that literally came together in about an hour it's made oh something's just fallen off using tags as you can see and lots of photos not much journaling you don't always have to have, add loads of journaling but it's just a really nice keepsake using tags stamping them some mixed media techniques here and again it made a really nice gift this one was actually a screenshot just from Instagram so you don't always have to have your own photos if you're doing a gift for a friend you could possibly go onto their Instagram page or Facebook page to get photos and it just makes a really really lovely keepsake and a really lovely gift and it doesn't take long to do at all and that's also a very quick travel journal as well little moments captured in very little time the last one here is also a paper bag but this one I have stuck together so it's nice and reinforced and I've used scrapbooking paper to decorate and this one is just about everyday things that I love about my family also would make a lovely gift you could make this kind of thing for somebody else and it's just little snapshots of how we spend our time what we enjoy doing together coffee machine we've got baking we've got our lounge there um, just captured little everyday things it's just a, another really quick project that's really really fun to do and doesn't take very long so I hope these have given you some fun ideas I hope you feel inspired and it's also these little projects are a great way to use up your stash as well go and have a little bit of a delve through what you've got see what you can use make them as gifts especially with Christmas coming up now is a really good idea to start making and thinking about Christmas gifts can you make a little mini journal for somebody I sometimes make little mini journals instead of a card as well you can pop photos in add little sort of journal lines and things it makes a really really nice keepsake gift I hope you've enjoyed this thank you very much for watching let me know if you love making mini journals as well and any tips you have for making yours thanks so much and i look forward to seeing you in the next video lots of love bye